Hello, everyone, and welcome to Digital Marketing for the spring of 2022 semester. Uh, my name is Bill Rand. I am your instructor for this class, and you've already seen me probably in a couple of other little videos. Uh, but I just kind of wanted to break in and kind of tell you uh, some details that are specific to the spring 2022 semester, right? Um, first of all, you know, kind of dealing with things like uh, any changes that might have occurred, and also to mention a little bit about COVID and how we're handling that this semester. So, um, uh, so you know, first of all, you know, if you have any questions about anything that you happens in this class, feel free to email me at any time, wmrandncsu.edu, or even tweet at me at Bill Rand. In addition, we do have a TA for this class, Kiadi Ajmera uh, at ksajmera at ncsu.edu. Uh, free field to email Kiadi as well. Um, my office is 2324 Nelson Hall, but in reality, uh, hopefully most of our meetings are in, not hopefully, but in fact, most of our meetings will be virtual this semester, uh, just since all of you are online as well. Uh, if you are in the seated class and watching this, right, and, uh, you know, COVID has died down a little bit, I'm recording this in January, obviously, uh, then, you know, feel free to stop by my office at any time as well. Um, all the class content will be on Moodle. Um, and the videos are on my personal YouTube page, but those are linked to uh, from Moodle as well. So you can find them all up there on the Woofware um, website for this uh, account. Um, all the videos are also compiled together into one big playlist on a YouTube channel that's available through go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 566 YouTube. Um, and finally, and probably most importantly, for this semester, I want to make clear that we will be hosting synchronous class sessions and office hours Tuesday at 5 p.m. on Zoom. If you can't make it, that's fine. Uh, I record these and they're available. But if you want to kind of show up and ask me questions in person, we can talk about the readings. We might have a couple little uh, group activities or, you know, we might have some guest speakers. Um, and I'll be announcing those in my weekly emails to you as well. Uh, just a small note that I'll be posting required weekly um, readings on Moodle. Uh, these are usually something dealing with digital marketing that's in the news, the trade press, or an academic article. Uh, this week, we have a reading on augmented reality, uh, so I'd like you to take a look at that. Um, supplementary, most of the material from the class, um, if you want a, a textbook or something to read rather than just watching me speak all the time, uh, you can check out the e-marketing, uh, the Essential Guide to Online Marketing, the sixth edition, which I've linked to on the syllabus and on Moodle. Uh, it's put out by Quirk, uh, which is sometimes also called Red and Yellow. Um, and it's a free textbook, actually. The PDF is free. Uh, if you want a physical copy, you can order one, uh, but they ship out of uh, South Africa because that's where the organization is that puts this together. Uh, so, but feel free to take a look at that. It's very helpful. It will it, um, maybe explain things in a different way for those of you who uh, learn differently, right? Um, there are um, some additional sources, and I highly encourage you when answering your assignments to kind of go outside just what we're doing in the class and look for additional material. Uh, I really like eMarketer, which provides kind of up-to-date information about trends in digital marketing. Uh, Mashable is a great place to kind of look for different things happening in, in digital marketing space. Of course, Wired Magazine covers a lot more than just digital marketing, but they have a, a good emphasis in that space. Slashdot's an old technical blog. Uh, it's one of my favorites places to hang out at times. Um, and so I recommend taking a look at that. Uh, Fast Company, always a good magazine in the space. And then, you know, a digital marketing uh, podcast that I like is called Marketing Over Coffee. The grading for the semester uh, is basically broken up into group grades, individual grades, and group grades, and the group project in general, I should emphasize, counts for 65% of your overall grade. 50% of that in the group grades and then 15% through the individual grade that you receive through the peer review. 30% of that is the written group project. Now you'll be turning this in in chunks over the course of the semester with a final turn in at the end of the, uh, the, end of the entire semester. Uh, but we'll be talking about that more as we get into the class. 10% of your group project is based upon the website and social media prototypes that you develop for your group project. And 10% is your group project presentation that you turn in at the end of the semester as well. Individual grade-wise, as I mentioned previously, you'll be peer-reviewed by your group members, and that will count for 15% of your overall individual grade. 
um, the conceptual assignment and the analytical assignment each count for 15% as well. These will be at home, uh, obviously, two week, uh, usually one to two week, depends. I think they're two weeks most of the times this semester from looking at the calendar. Um, uh, take home, open note, open book, open everything kind of assignments uh, that you'll be working on. And the first one, as you might guess, is more conceptual. The second one has some uh, more technical details, some more the actual math involved in it, right? Um, and then 5% is participation. And I'll talk a little bit about how participation will create it. Of course, letter grades are signed around the normal increments. You can see that on the syllabus, uh, but I've reserved the right to shift those grades upward if I need to, to get the GPA average I like. I've been teaching this class for almost 10 years now. And so I usually, the grade GPA comes out just about where I want it, but I always put that in there as a, as a notice. So participation wise, um, you know, especially given uh, COVID and the need for people to isolate and everything like that, I, I, you know, I'm not placing a lot of emphasis on this this semester, uh, much like I haven't for the last two semesters. Uh, so you will be, or last two years, I should say, you will be expected, though, to read the material each week and then participate in conversations about that material, either on Moodle on the discussion forums or during the Zoom sessions uh, that you'll, that are available on Tuesdays at 5 p.m., right? Um, the link to those Zoom sessions, by the way, is already up on Moodle um, and near the top. So, you know, feel free to uh, use that link to join us on Tuesday. So this week, what would I like you to do? Well, I'd like you to complete the survey, go.ncsu.edu slash MBA 566 survey. This is kind of, um, I don't want you to spend a lot of time on this survey. The point of it is to kind of for me to get an idea of of where you are and what you know, right? Um, so like there's some questions on there that are like knowledge related. I don't want you to like Google them. I want you to just give me your best guess and we'll kind of go from there. It's not gonna be graded in any way, um, except to just see if you did it or not, right? Um, and then there's a article video on augmented reality and then a podcast on augmented reality that might be useful for you to take a look at. Well, that you should be taking a look at because they're part of the discussions that we're gonna have. And then finally, you know, I want you to submit your preferred green group team members by January 21st at 1155 PM. Um, and there will be a link up online for you to do that um, on the Moodle. Um, I'm looking for team sizes of five, uh, but if you have fewer, that's fine. Then just submit two or three or four, right? And I'll randomly assign you additional members. Um, if you don't know anyone on the class and don't know who you want to, team up with, then just submit your name, right? And say, I don't know anyone, right? That's all fine. In fact, uh, by the way, there's a little bit of research that shows that randomly assigned groups often do better than uh, teams that self-assign, that they come together. So it might actually be to your advantage to randomly assign your, get randomly assigned to a group. Um, let me know and I will do some matchmaking on the back end and I'll announce final teams about a week later. Um, as a supplement for this week, I'd like you to take a look at chapter 22 of the textbook if you if you want to, uh, which covers kind of the basics of the internet and uh, the history of the internet. So we just have some terminology that we can use. So with that, um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me or tweet at me. Um, and I look very much forward to uh, spending some time with you over the course of the next uh, semester. Um, and uh, good luck and take care.